हेलो एवरी वन अ वेरी वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग टू वन एंड ऑल माई नेम इज अंकित शर्मा एंड आई वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू इन दिस एक्सट्रीमली इंपॉर्टेंट सेशन एट द वन एंड ओनली एस एस सी एग्जाम्स इन इंग्लिश मीडियम बाय द वन एंड ओनली एग्जाम्पल माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी हैव पिकड अप अनदर पेपर ओके सी मंडे एंड ट्यूजडे वी डिस्कस वन पेपर देन ऑन वेंसडे एंड थर्सडे we are discussing another paper and then on friday we will be discussing something other than this now before i move ahead i request everybody guys i request everybody please kindly join us please kindly like and share this session please ask more and more students to join because this is how you can exactly help everybody and you can exactly help us also okay so please everyone please like and share the session it's extremely important and we are very much in need of the support from you guys okay so today we are going to discuss the previous year paper part 18 so obviously as you can see we have discussed 17 parts earlier now moving ahead have a look at this the ssc cpo examination of 2020 tier 1 will be discussed now when we are discussing the ssc cpo exam 2020 of tier 1 the exam was conducted across india on 23rd of november 2020 and now we have already discussed shift 2 shift 3 this is shift 1 and now every shift had 50 questions in reasoning now out of the 50 questions 25 were discussed yesterday itself in yesterday's session so the rest will be discussed today now have a look at this the thought of the day now this is the thought of the day guys very very important see a statue in japan probably your weight value is not the number of kilograms or size but the number of books you read see a very very meaningful and insightful picture from japan probably okay so it clearly shows that the number of books that you read the weight of your mind knowledge iq that is your actual weight your body physical weight how much fat you hold etc is of no use my dear students okay so this is probably a statue in japan which clearly shows the weight value is not the number of kilograms or size but the number of books you read so this picture speaks a lot my dear students this picture speaks a lot all right everybody fine everyone yes or no and now with these words are you all ready so it's already 9 2 and i think now all of you are super ready please quickly like and share this session so that we can start now and here is the very first question guys time starts hurry up quickly everyone the 26th question till 25 we have done in yesterday's session if you all remember now see my dear students if you have a look at this my dear students if you have a look at this what are you going to get over here please have a look now see this structure is coming over here as you can see this structure is coming over here as you can see now this diamond structure will be coming over here as you can see so this is gone okay and this is gone next my dear students so very very crucial as further you can see this structure is coming over here this structure is coming over here this structure will be coming over here so now here you will be seeing this so as you can see this is common this is common but now more important this is coming over here as you can see the circle is coming over here plus is coming over here now so plus will be here so now my dear students just tell me what you are going to get then if plus is coming over here obviously this is not the answer this is the right answer and therefore third one will be valid will be correct all right everyone next solve this question hurry up
hurry up now have a look at this my dear students have a look at this now this is the complete question in front of you which says you are there is written as something okay we stay here is written as something we are late is written as something and i stay there is written as something okay now how will you write you stay late now the question is how to write you stay late now first of all let us talk about the word you see R is at more place, more than one place, there is at more than one place, but U is only over here, nowhere else. Similarly, its code will be also only over here, nowhere else. For example, Zer is over here, Der is over here, but Ter is only over here. So U is like this, Ter. Now if I talk about stay, now stay, we stay here, I stay there, so stay is only over here and here. So here Merner and here Ferger, so here, here, so here, here is there. And now if I talk about late, now see V is at only two places, R is at only two places, but late is nowhere else. So late's code will also be nowhere else. So Sir, see Ner is at more than one place, Der is at more than one place, Sir is nowhere else. So Sir, so the right, <coughs> right answer is Ter here Sir, Ter here Sir. So therefore, the right answer is option number C. So here in these kind of questions, as you all are well aware, the order is not important. Means it is not necessary that the code for first word is first one. It is not necessary that code of second word is second one and third word is third one. It is not necessary. All right, everybody. Fine. Next. Here we go. Quickly, everyone. Now see, five friends, P, Q, R, S, N, T, they are sitting around a circular table and facing the, facing the center of the table. Now S is sitting to the immediate right of P, okay. S is sitting, now if I, if I keep P over here, you can keep P anywhere. If I have kept P over here, then S is sitting to the immediate right of P, okay. S is sitting to the immediate right of P. Now here it is also telling you that P is sitting between S and R. P is sitting between S and R. Find everybody. Now T is sitting. This is sitting. Okay. This is sitting. T is sitting to the immediate left of Q. T is sitting to the immediate left of Q. Okay, everybody. I repeat. I hope you are, you are getting this. So S is sitting to the immediate right of P. T is sitting to the immediate left of Q. P is sitting between S and R. Who is sitting at second place to the left of T? Second place to the left of T is P. And that is the right answer. Answer is option number C, that is P. Answer is option number C, that is P. Okay, everyone. Next, solve this one. It's very, very simple. Very, very simple questions, guys, in today's session. Hurry up. A paper is folded and cut as shown below. How will it appear when unfolded? 
So now if you have to see how it will appear when unfolded, what you are going to get? See, when it will be unfolded, a triangle is pointing in this direction, so this will be pointing in this direction. Circle is here, circle will be here. Now triangle is here, triangle will be here. So now you have to answer the questions accordingly. So now if you see two triangles pointing upward, here two triangles are not pointing upward. Then the two triangles pointing towards each other, no. Two triangles pointing towards each other, no. This is a perfect illustration. Okay, the right answer is this one. The right answer is this one. Okay, everybody. Fine. Okay. Next. Solve this one, the 30th question. Select the option that represents the correct order of given words as they will appear in English dictionary. As they will appear in English dictionary. So now my dear students, if you check this, you will easily get the answer. See, first of all, FL is there everywhere. FL as you can see is there everywhere. But here FO is there. So it will be at the last. Okay. <coughs> so here FL is there, here FO is there. Fine. Okay, no issue. Quickly everyone. Okay, time is over. Let us start. Let us start my dear students. And now let us see what are the various possibilities that are possible. See, this is flood. First of all, this is flood guys. This is flood. It is FL. It is FL. Okay. And now see, first of all, flexible. FL is everywhere. Now FLE will be first. So first will be the first one. After F L E, it will be F L O O F L O A F L O A. Then after that, it will be F L O O D F L O O D. Then it will be F L O O R. And then finally, it will be F L O W. So it will be 15432. It will be 15432. Answer is option number B. Answer is option number B. Okay, everyone. See, I request everybody to please kindly like and share this session. Please kindly like and share this session, okay? Hurry up. The next question, the 31st one. Hurry up. Now, this is a question where pure application of the board mass rule is required. Pure application of the board mass rule. Now see my dear students, if A denotes addition, A denotes addition, okay, fine, A denotes addition and B denotes multiplication, B denotes multiplication, C denotes subtraction, okay, C denotes subtraction and D denotes division, D denotes division, okay. Fine. Now, what will be the required answer? What will be the required answer that we have to check? Now, see, first of all, let us solve this. Okay. So, now as per the board mass rule, it will be 35 to ja, 35 to ja 70 plus 5 multiplied by 40 minus 37, 3. Plus, I think this is 8. This is 8. This is 8. It is a you know, printing error. So, it's 8 for ja 32 divided by 16 minus 14 okay so now if i further solve it so i'm going to get 70 
plus 15 plus 2 minus 14. So now 70 plus 15, 85 plus 2, 87 minus 14. So 7 minus 4 is 3 and 8 minus 1 is 7. Okay. So the correct answer, the valid answer is option number C, 73. All right, everybody, getting it, moving ahead, coming to the next one. Solve this one. <coughs> Quickly, everyone, you have to arrange the words not in alphabetical order, but in a logical and meaningful order. In the order of chronology, what will happen first, what will happen thereafter? All right. Now see, first of all what will be done? See, first of all applications will be coming, you will scrutinize them. After that, you will be interviewing them. Then job offer will be given and then they will be joining. So it's 2, 1, 3, 4, 5, according to which the right answer is option number B as you can see. Alright everybody, yes or no? Now moving ahead, the 33rd question and your time starts now. Quickly everyone. In the following Venn diagram, the circle stands for journalists. In the following Venn diagram, the circle stands for journalists. The triangle stands for females. The triangle stands for females. And the rectangle stands for urban residents. The rectangle stands for urban residents. Now, the given, okay, now fine. How many journalists are females but not urban residents? How many journalists are females? So, the journalists which are females, these journalists are not females. These journalists are not females. Now, <coughs> these journalists are females, but they are also urban residents which is not required. So, those journalists who are females but not urban residents are these 18. And that is the right answer. Option number D, that is 18. Option number D, that is 18. Okay, everybody? Fine. So, I will request everybody, please like and share this session, okay? Next one. Hurry up. Check this, in these kind of questions, I usually give you complete one minute. So take that, but not beyond that, not beyond that. In, 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 I am talking about exam as well. Now if you check over here in this manner, what are you going to get? What are you going to get over here? See, it's 28 into 2, 56 plus 58 and then plus 4. So 28 to the 56 plus 58 plus 4. So, it is 56 plus 4 60 plus 58 is 118. Alright everybody? Now, 
the next one check this over here it's 21 into 2 plus 44 plus 4 but 21 into 2 is 42 plus 44 plus 4 so 44 plus 4 48 plus 250 plus 40 it will be 90 i hope it is very clear it would be 90 all right and then my dear students over here over here as you can see it's 47 into 2 plus 96 plus 4 it's easy work it's easier it's 94 plus 100 so basically it's 194 basically it's 194 and that is the right answer option number a 194 all right everybody fine now the 35th question hurry up please solve this Hurry up. Now see. P plus 4. QRST, L plus 4, MNOP, A plus 4, BCDE, here it's C minus 4, in the middle one, minus 4, here again plus 4, plus 4, plus 4, so here in the middle it's minus 4, it is O, then over here plus 4, and over here plus 4, so M plus 4, NOPQ, O plus 4, PQRS, N plus 4, OPQR, T plus 4 UVWX, E plus 4 FGHI, R, <coughs> sorry, R plus 4 STUV, so QSROXIV, QSROXIV, option C is the correct answer, is the valid answer. Alright everybody, fine, I hope it's very very clear. Next, solve this one. Okay, before, before coming to the next question, my dear students, have a look at this. My dear students, the example official app is the one-stop solution for all the government job examinations. When I say that, I will give you proof also with 10 valid points. Number one, we provide you live paid courses with test series. Now when we provide you live paid courses with test series, now why, what is the reason? Why should you go for the paid batch when already free of cost classes are going at the YouTube? My dear students, at YouTube, whatever we are teaching is only 10% of what we teach in the paid batch. I will give you further reasons. Number one, in YouTube classes, we are only solving questions as you can see. But in paid batches, first theory, basic concepts, and then we come to question discussion. Number two, in the YouTube classes, we first, in, in the YouTube classes, we have no doubt resolution mechanism. Whereas in the paid batches, very much we have doubt resolution mechanism by the form of Zoom classes. Then in YouTube classes, my dear students, at the end we provide you only one question as homework. So you cannot practice enough questions. But in the paid batch, we provide you complete set of questions so that you can practice enough questions. Then in the YouTube classes, my dear students, very, very important. There is no guidance, no mentorship program. But this is the USP of our paid batches at example that we provide you guidance come mentorship via via faculty members so the faculty takes zoom session with the all class guides you helps you to prepare the timetable tells you the pros and cons of various techniques do's and don'ts while you are preparing so that faculty is actually able to track your progress see or monitor your growth suggest you remedial measures wherever required and this is till the very end till your joining phase keep it in mind next my dear students have a look at this these now these are the free of cost feature we provide you free subject wise and topic wise quizzes free with report card we provide you 
free job alert, admit card and exam date. We provide you all exam previous year PDFs with solution. We provide you free all India scholarship test free with report card. We provide you free topic wise live classes. We provide you free full length and sectional test with report card. We provide you free exam wise PDF and practice set PDFs. We provide you daily, weekly and monthly current affairs. And finally, my dear students, we provide you unlimited subject wise practice questions. Now here I will like to highlight two features. All exam previous year PDF with solution and number two, unlimited subject wise practice questions. So these two are the most significant features which are required by any student who is willing to prepare for government exams. Utilize these things. These things might be free for you, but it has costed us time, effort and energy. Please acknowledge that. And now let us solve the next question. Hurry up quickly. Now these questions will not take one one minute. Hurry up quickly everyone. See, it's very simple. Now see here, minus 1, minus 1, minus 1 and minus 1. Here plus 2, B, C, D, okay then plus 1, E, plus 1 minute. See this is F, this is F, this is F my dear students, okay this is F, lot of printing mistakes are there today, okay this is F, okay. Now F. EF, GH and then plus 2 IJ. Then here S minus 3, okay, minus 3, minus 3 and minus 3. So EHJ, the correct answer is option number A, EHJ. I hope it is very clear. Fine everybody, yes or no? Now moving ahead, the 37th question. Quickly solve this, hurry up. Quickly solve this guys. Now see the time is up my dear students, here we go. Now see what is happening, now over here this is this and this is this, okay the mirror image of the left hand side figure, okay. Now over here the water image will be formed, what do we mean by that? Now see my dear students. Now here this structure is creating the trouble, here now this is not the right one, this is not the right one, this is the perfect one, see it's the exact replica you will see over here, alright everybody, fine, answer is the second one, answer is the second one, okay. Now 38th question, 38th question, okay everybody. Enough time is there, these questions do not take one minute, 30 seconds, 35, 40, 45 seconds at the max, that's it.
Now see my dear students, the time is almost up. See, one you will never see like this. Two is not never possible like this. Four, it's never not possible like this. Four will be like this only. Okay, everybody. So therefore, the correct answer is option number one only. The correct answer is option number one only. Okay. Why? Why this is gone? Because one will not be like this. Then two will not be like this. Four will not be like this. Okay. So it's very easily eliminated. 38th first is the right answer. Now 39th one. Hurry up. It's very simple. It will not take complete one minute, but still I am providing you one complete minute over here. Please take your time and do it. Quickly everyone, hurry up. Now see, my dear students have a look at this. 17, 3 to 51, 51 plus 7 is 58. 58, 2 to 116, 116 plus 7 is this. Now 123 into 1 is this, now 123 plus 7 is 130. So see here, into 3, into 2, into 1, into 0 here, plus 7, plus 1, plus 7 is going on, the right answer is 130, option number B. The right answer is 130, option number B, okay. Next, the 40th question. The 40th question. Now the time is over, okay, and now have a look at this. Please have a look at this. What it is trying to say, the two teams consisting of three, three players in each team are participating in a debate competition. Three players in one team are sitting facing three players of the other team. Now, it is telling you categorically that K and L are sitting facing each other. So, if K and L are sitting facing each other, it is like this manner. Now, alternatively, K can be here, L can be here, that's fine. And and O are in different teams. Now, if N and O are in different teams, fine. N and O are in different teams. So, N and O, they are not in same team. M is sitting facing N. Now, M is sitting facing N, okay. M is sitting facing N, okay. And now, again, M can be here, N can be here. P is sitting at one of the corners fine p is sitting at the corner and now my dear students n is sitting n is sitting to the immediate right of l so n is over here now if n is here over here m is facing it okay now my dear students n and o are in different teams if n and o are in different teams now see o can be here or o can be here also and now p is at the corner p will be here now see they can come here also okay alternatively they can go above they can come down okay but now we are aware that okay k m and o are in same team k m and o are in same team and then l n and p are in same team 
So now which are the following of the members of the same team? See L and P are members of the same team. L and P are members of the same team. KMO are not the members of the same team. Answer is option number C. All right. Moving ahead. Quickly everybody the 41st question. Quickly everyone, please like and share this session, the 41st question. Hurry up. Now if you have a look at this, if you have a look at this my dear students, 4, see 4 is only over here nowhere else, 2 is at more than one place, 8 is at more than one place but 4 is only over here nowhere else, so its code will be only over here nowhere else n is over here as you can see, b is over here as you can see and now u. So 4 stands for u and that is the right answer. Answer is option number a that is u. Answer is option number a that is u. Next one. Solve this one guys. Hurry up. Solve this one the 42nd question. Guys, quickly like and share this session. It's extremely important and relevant as well. Now over here in this question, if you interchange multiply and divide. So if I interchange multiply and divide, I bring multiply over here, I bring divide over here. So what I'm going to get, let us see. 25 minus 5 divided by 50 into 10 plus 35. So 5 10 of 50 and now this is cancelled out. 25 minus 1 plus this in nowhere it will be giving you this. So this is not the right answer. Now moving ahead, coming to the next option. Moving ahead, coming to the next option. Multiply and plus. Multiply and plus. If you bring multiply over here and if you bring plus over here. So what are you going to get? See, 25 minus 5 plus 50 divided by 10 into 35. Okay, so if you solve this my dear students, 25 minus 5 plus 5 into 35. So now my dear students, 5 into 35 will be, this is 20, this is 20. Now plus 5, uh, it is how much? It's 155, it's not even that, it's 1, uh, 13 to 5 is 150 and 5 into 5 is 25, it's 175, so it's 175, 20 plus 175 will be giving you things much bigger than this, so when this is not possible, now the next thing, now the next thing, if I go by option, these two are gone, now if I go by this, interchange multiply and minus, so if I bring multiply over here and minus over here, we have interchange multiply and minus, so 25 into 5 minus 50 divided by 10 plus 35. So 25 into 5 is 150, uh, 125 minus 5 plus 35. So this is 120 plus 35, which is 155, 155. Okay, that is the right answer, option number C. That is the right answer, guys, option number C. Okay, everyone, fine. Okay, everybody. Next, solve this one, the 40 third question the 43rd question please take your time take your time this these kind of questions take complete one minute anushka sharma a very very good morning 
वेलकम कमॉन गाई जरी आप प्लीज ट्राई एंड सॉल्व दिस Now see here, two things can be easily checked. If I go by option number A, so if I place multiply over here and divide over here, plus over here, minus over here, and equal to over here, 31 into 2 upon 60, 31 into 2 upon 60 will be giving you something in decimals, and therefore the end result will not be an integral number, even this will be decimals. So option A is not right. Now let us come to the next one. This is not right. Now, if I go by option B, multiply, minus, plus, divide, and then equals to. Now, see, it is 31 into 2, 31 into 2, 62, minus 60, okay. So, 31 into 2, 62, minus 60, plus 30 upon 15, okay. 31 into 2, 62, minus 60, minus 60, plus 30 upon 15. So, this is 2. And this is also 2, this is also 2. So 2 plus 2 will be giving you only 4. It will never be giving you 49. So even this is gone. Even this is gone. Now this one. If you check this, just apply your common sense. Minus divide plus multiply equal to. Now 2 divided by 60, 2 divided by 60 will be 1 by 30. It will give you something in decimals, in fractions also. So now here integral number will not be available. So therefore, it when this is gone. So now what is the op obvious right answer? It's option number D. If A, B and C are gone, obviously the right answer will be D. And you can check that also. If you place multiply plus divide minus and equals to over here. So 31 into 2, 62 plus 60 divided by 30, 2 minus 15. So, if you solve this, 62 plus 2 minus 15, it's 64 minus 15, which is 49. It is 49. All right, everybody, answer is option number D. All right. Uh, Anushka, I will tell you towards the end. Anushka, just give me 5 minutes or 6 minutes, I will tell you towards the end, okay. Solve this one, Anushka. At the end, I will show you the complete schedule, okay. Quickly, everyone. Now, these kind of questions do not take complete one minute. 30, 35 seconds is more than sufficient for questions of these type. Quickly, everybody. Now see, a mirror is placed over here. Now n's mirror image cannot be this. Now z's mirror image, if this is this nature, so here will be this nature. So this is not the mirror image. E's mirror image is fine. And now G's mirror image, see these till here are fine. But G's mirror image will be this one. It cannot be upside down. It cannot be upside down. And therefore, the correct answer is the last one, option number D or 4. Option number D or 4. Next, solve this one, guys. Hurry up. Please concentrate. Now, for these questions, I am ready to give you complete one minute. Hurry up. Come on guys, concentrate, you will very easily, I am 100% sure, I am 100% sure that you are going to get the logic over here.
very good anushka very good anushka see what is going on here plus 10 here plus 11 here plus 12 here plus 13 here plus 14 so it's 97 and then here plus 15 okay so the right answer is 97 so if you check from here it is plus if you check from left if you check from the left it's minus 15 minus 14 minus 13 and so on the correct answer is 97 okay now before i move ahead i've already discussed with all of you after the end of 35th question what are the benefits of our example official app what are the free of cost benefits features that you are getting now obviously you will be able to utilize all those features once you are able to download the app we are not available at ios version so now from your android mobile phone go to google play store and type over their example app the moment you type over their example app such a kind of interface will appear you will be asked to click on the install icon if your internet connectivity is good enough within couple of minutes it will be installed and then you will be asked to click on open now since you are a new user you will be asked to register yourself okay you will be asked to register yourself by providing basic details like your name date of birth email password phone number state city and then if you click on i agree with terms and conditions then you are ready to register then you are ready to register all right everybody fine everybody so utilize it okay and now the next question 46th question now this is a question of embedded figures this is the question of embedded figures guys hurry up these questions will not take complete one minute 40 45 second is more than sufficient hurry up where this figure is hidden that is what you have to check it's like an your it's like your eye test basically it's basically your eye test okay hurry up see the time is almost up the time is almost up my dear students and now i will show you where it is exactly hidden so now please see this my dear students this structure you can find over here one two three so my dear students have a look at this one two three now here one two three here one two three so here it is hidden okay everybody fine and therefore it's the right answer fourth one is the right answer i hope all of you are getting this or not i hope all of you are getting this no anushka in third you are not getting this in third where are you getting this structure so if you want this kind of a structure you will have to come over here like one and two three four and five and here six so this is the right one fourth one next one solve this one the 47th question hurry up Quickly everyone. See. Now see what it is trying to say. It is trying to say over here. Outrightly it is trying to say over here. That one day. 90 students were traveling in a bus and the ratio of number of boys to girls was 2 is to 1. Ratio of number of boys to girls was 2 is to 1 and that means total 60 plus 30, 90 students were traveling in the bus. Okay, the next day, 
the next day the number of students remained the same the next day number of students remains the same okay but the ratio of boys to girls becomes 3 to 2 the ratio of please always check it's girls to boys or boys to girls here again the ratio of boys to girls becomes 3 to 2 so it's 54 is to 36 3 is to 2 the sum is 90 what was the difference what was the difference between the numbers of boys traveling in the bus on both days so the difference between the number of boys traveling in the bus on both days as you can say is 6 as you can see is over here 6 all right everybody fine as simple as this now solve this one guys hurry up now this is again a kind of question where i generally give you complete one minute which i will be giving you again right now quickly everybody hurry up Now see, check in this row, check in this row my dear students, 54 minus 40 into 4, so it's 54 minus 40, 14 into 4, which is 56, which is 56, okay everybody you can check over here, now check over here guys, 68 minus 57 into 4, so it's 11, into 4 which is 44 as you can see over here now the same will continue the same will continue guys and you will get 47 minus 39 into 4 it's 12 uh, no not 12 it is 8 it is 8 into 4 which is 32 so that is the right answer option number c 32 okay 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 everyone now the last question, the last question, all right, please solve this, please solve this everybody, 45 second is maximum to introspect these kind of questions, so maximum 45 second. Quickly everyone, see, this quadrant is shaded, this one, then it's immediate right, clockwise, next quadrant is shaded, clockwise, next quadrant is shaded, now this quadrant will be shaded, this one, so this is gone. Next thing, this structure is turning clockwise 90 degree over here, then clockwise 90 degree over here, then it will turn clockwise 90 degree over here. So obviously this is gone, this is fine, this is fine, this is fine, okay, next thing arrow is over here now arrow comes over here but turns 90 degree clockwise over here then arrow comes over here and turns 90 degree clockwise now arrow will be over here and turns 90 degree clockwise it will be pointing upwards it will be pointing upwards see arrow arrow comes over here but points 90 degree clockwise then it comes over here points 90 degree clockwise okay so arrow is over here comes over here point 90 degree clockwise then comes over here points 90 degree clockwise then it will come over here and point 90 degree clockwise so therefore it is the right answer and now this will be your home exercise you will solve this and you will answer it under the comment box okay you will solve this question and you will answer it under the comment box i will love to answer to your comments over there and now see this is the complete detailed schedule the complete schedule of free youtube classes my dear students so the morning slot is dedicated for ssc cpo chsl and stano exams where we start at the morning in complete english medium at 8 am current affairs 9 am reasoning 10 am english 11 am ga 12 noon science and 1 pm maths immediately after that directly at 2 pm we start with ssc cgl dedicated slot 2 pm english 3 pm reasoning 4 pm ga 5 pm maths and 6 pm science and that's not over at 7 to 9 pm we have marathon class daily monday to friday 
daily Monday to Friday. On Monday was my class reasoning, Tuesday was Sasanksha's GS class, th uh, yesterday was I think Sanjay sir's class, today also somebody will be taking the class, day after tomorrow, means on Friday also somebody will be taking the class. So we are keeping you engaged from morning 8am till night 9pm completely free of cost in English medium and thereafter you can have rest, you can revise and then come back at morning 8 a.m. free of cost my dear students, free of cost. So with this we come to an end of the session everybody. I hope you have really enjoyed the session. Anushka, I hope I answered your question. Thank you everybody. We will meet again in the next class that is tomorrow. Till then bye-bye, take care, have a great day class. Thank you so much.